Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I did these purple glitter glass tip nails. So I'm using Shook Glitter from Glitter Planet UK. I'm using this pink and purple glitter from my website, longcareprettynails.com and also Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And I will leave a link down below to all of the items that I used in this video. I also picked up some more monomer. This is from Enel Couture and this is their cotton candy scented monomer. The no lift nails monomer was really giving me a headache. So I needed something that was low odor um, so I can work and be more effective. And I just went ahead and got the big 16 ounce bottle and I'm using my alpha number eight oval brush and I'm just going to use that to pour the monomer into my dampen dish so I won't spill any all right so I've already applied my forms and I'm going in with nail nails nail prep dehydrator and then no lift nails primer and I'm going to start off with a very thin layer of the long care pretty nails clear acrylic and I first start off by placing it on the nail bed area and then I'm going to extend it um, and create my base shape. So for this set, I wanted to go for a very extreme stiletto shape. So I'm just really working that nice sharp point. Next, I apply this purple glitter from Long Care Pretty Nails and I'm just placing that in the center and working it downward. And then I'm placing the pink glitter behind that and kind of working that in an ombre fashion. Um, when I mix this pink glitter, I didn't realize that the jar that I had it in had leftover black glitter so it is some black pieces of glitter in there um it doesn't really take away from it too bad but oh well it still works out <laughs> so after i get the glitter all in place i just go ahead and cap this nail with clear acrylic and i also build up the shape and the strength of the nail as well and just working to get that shape perfect so I move on to the ring fingernail and do the prep and primer and once again going in with the clear acrylic. Next, I take this Shook Glitter from Glitter Planet UK and I apply this in a diagonal fashion. Um, and you want to make sure that you give the glitter time to dry. I didn't, so some of the glitter did move around when I was trying to place my clear. Um, so yeah. I mean, it's not too bad, but I would pref prefer it if it, you know, kind of stayed in place. Um, but yeah, once I get the glitter in place, I go ahead and cap this nail. Moving on to the middle finger, I once again do the prep and prime and then go in with a thin layer of clear and I'm going to be applying the Shook glitter on this nail as well, um, also in the same slant uh, diagonal fashion. This nail form was really being mean to me because it kept popping open. I don't know, I, I guess I must have had some oil or something on it. but. Yeah, so I did have to keep pinching this closed because it just did not want to stay closed. Thank you. 
And this glitter is just so gorgeous. It has like those hollow flakes in it and it's just so pretty. Like I'm just, uh, I'm just lost of words how pretty this glitter is. So if you do head over to Glitter Planet UK website, I highly recommend this blend. This is just so, so pretty. So this time I actually gave the glitter time to set and dry and then I went in and capped it with clear acrylic and this time the glitter did not move. but that pesky form just kept on popping open. <laughs> All right, so for my index fingernail, I'm just going to start off with a thin layer of clear. And then I'm going to go in with the purple long hair pretty nails glitter and apply that to the cuticle area and work it downward. But I don't take it all the way down. I do want to keep the tip of the nail clear. And when applying this, I just picked up a tiny bead of clear and then I dip that into the glitter and that is how I get it onto the nail. And I just apply more clear acrylic and more glitter as I feel like it needs it. I want it to be very dense at the um, cuticle area and kind of fade out towards the tip. So as you can see, I'm just kind of packing it on and making sure that, you know, the whole nail bed area is covered. All right, so once that has dried, I just go ahead and cap the nail with clear acrylic. All right, so this is after the nails have set and I have removed the forms and I'm just going to do my shaping and filing. I start off with my hand file to, you know, clean up the shape and smooth out the nail. And then I finish up with my Todak USA fine cone bit. And I just like to work this around the cuticle area. 
I did get questions about what kind of nail drill I use and I kind of just don't want to go into it because I get a lot of opinions about what drill I decided to use for my nails. Um, so I will leave a link down below to the video but I do use a Dremel with a super flex shaft attached and it works for me so yeah. All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And I'm gonna go in with Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And I'm just going to apply this to each of the nails. And it is just so satisfying to apply the top coat to glitter nails because they just pop. Like, ah, uh, you get to see the true beauty of these nails. So before I cure, I go ahead and place my stones. These are iridescent crystals and they are available on my website. I will leave a link down below. And I'm using my Poochie Snails Rhinestone Picker. I do have a love-hate relationship with this thing. It works great on larger stones, but for the smaller ones, they seem to stick to the wax and it's just a little annoying. <laughs> So I go ahead and cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp and I did have an issue with the, well I guess it's not a big issue, but the monomer that I used from Enel Couture kind of didn't get the clear acrylic as clear as I know it can be. I didn't have that problem with the no lift nails monomer um, it got super clear with that so I think because the monomer is tinted that it kind of just doesn't give the clear its true potential um, so I did apply top coat underneath the nail um, so yeah after carrying that I just applied my cuticle oil and this is the finished look a beautiful crystal clear tip purple pink combination glitter going on these are like my favorite colors so I just I love how these turned out. Super, super cute. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop if you're interested in the clear acrylic or the pink and purple glitter. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you in my next one.